we will then prepare for surgery, which involves him laying on his left side on the table, um, clipping and shaving, um, and then cleaning his neck, neck with a sterile um, kind of prep for surgery. Um, we then uh, isolate the jugular vein. So we perform a jugular vein cut down, um, and this is all to the right jugular vein. So the jugular vein <coughs> exists in a lot of other tissues, essentially. Um, and so what we, we do is we use surgical instruments um, to kind of open up the skin and expose the jugular vein, um, and then kind of separate it from all these other tissues so we have access to it. Um, and we use vascular loops to kind of be able to intermittently kind of hold off pressure in, in either the kind of head side or the body side of the jugular vein. Um, and then we will use scissors and, and open the jugular vein so that we can feed the, the permanent pacemaker lead down inside the heart. In dogs, we typically do um, right ventricular pacing. And so we feed the lead down into the apex or kind of the, the depths of the, the right ventricle in order to um, you know, be able to actually pace the heart. So what we, we do is then after we've fed the lead down into a location that we feel like looks appropriate on the fluoroscopy or the X-ray version we have, um, we then hook the lead up to a machine um, that allows us to test these different parameters. Um, and so then we read off these numbers um, that tell us the minimal electricity that is required to generate a heartbeat um, and the kind of resistance or impedance to electricity flow at this location. After we are satisfied with the placement, um, we then uh, tie the lead to the jugular vein and ligate the jugular vein or tie off the jugular vein in multiple spots. Um, we then track the lead up to a separate incision um, kind of higher up in the neck where we will place the generator or the kind of battery pack for the pacemaker. Um, the generators themselves are relatively small. They're slightly bigger than like a silver dollar. Clearly, Maximus is a, a dog who has a high drive and high energy and, and 
you know, is very um, into fetch specifically. <laughs> and in my mind, quality of life is paramount. And so I'm very hopeful that, um, you know, with his improved quality of life, that we will see that as kind of one of the biggest rewards, essentially.